I mean, I love this. Me too. The only thing that worries me is the amount of tetanus shots you're gonna need before you sleep below this. But I mean, you know, you live dangerously. Well, I mean, that's true. Hi, I'm Amy Sox, and this is my sister, Jolie Sox, and we're the Junk Gypsies. We're going to show y'all some of our favorite tips and techniques to finding great junk and making it fit your style. On this episode, we're styling a Junk Gypsy dream bed. Although all the magazines make it look really easy, the question we get a lot is how to style a bedroom. It's from the headboard to the bedding to the pillows. I mean, sometimes you can have like 500 pillows on your bed and you still can't get the right combination. Jolie calls that pillow confusion. Pillow confusion, it's a real thing. So we've been doing this for years, styling out beds. We like to use a lot of flea market found objects as the headboards, like old signage, old doors, old architectural pieces. It kind of gives you an eclectic look for your bedroom and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. So we're gonna walk you through some of the steps on how to put together that perfectly styled eclectic bed. And we'll give you the cure for pillow confusion. All right, that would be a great headboard. This is, this is, would make a perfect headboard. This would actually be a really cute headboard. It might work for a twin bed. Yeah, it's just not big enough for what we're doing right now. You could put wood in there or plywood or a chalkboard. It'd be so cute. This is for a twin bed somewhere down It'd the be line. Great. Yeah, we need to save that. Bed sizes are standard. Just make sure you know what size bed you have before you go out junking. We've got plenty of these. <laughs> Tons yes. of these. We yes. need to do some sort of installation. Isn't that what people like artists that could be a call headboard, it? Like, an installation. Like solid. <laughs> This is just definitely seen better days. Yeah, this needs too much work. I mean, I mean, I love this, but maybe this is a future project. We need to save this, yeah, and work on, work on this when we have more time. Just be careful, don't break that one piece of glass. Architectural details are great, but choose something sturdy or you'll have more work than it's worth. And speaking of seen better days. Oh my gosh, I love this. But it's still amazing. Velvet tufted headboard, because who can say no? Nobody. We never say no to velvet. If you see an upholstered headboard in good condition, snatch it up. This will be on the next project list. Perfect. How big is that project list about now? It's getting long. Amy, you know it would make a really cool headboard? What? Oh my gosh, sexy cat! <laughs> sexy cat rides again. <laughs> Old paintings and signs are great because you can find something that basically fits any style. No, really, any style. That would make a great headboard, actually. This is an old dressing screen that really nobody uses anymore, but it's got some really great details and it has kind of that architectural flair to it. So this with a little bit of paint or even just with polyurethane to kind of bring the wood color back out, it would be a perfect example of a really cool headboard. And the best part about this, well really the best part is probably you saved a lot of money using this as a headboard instead of buying a brand new full bed. Um, but the second best part is that you have a headboard that nobody else has. You have a one of a kind headboard that's all your own. So I think this is it, this is perfect. Too. It's gonna look great. So we've got the screen over here and there's really a couple of things you can do. You could either polyurethane this, which will kind of bring out the natural wood texture, or you could dry brush it, which because of all this detail will really kind of make all that stand out and kind of give it an architectural look. So the whole purpose of dry brushing is that you really don't get the paint into every little nook and cranny of this screen. So you just barely get any paint on your brush and then you just do these light soft strokes over the top and like you can see how, how little paint's on my brush. So we want to be sure that the paint doesn't seep down into all of those little spots because then you'll see the wood underneath the paint on top and the contrast is even more impressive. I think I'm about done. I think we are done. I think, I think it looks great. It's going to look awesome. Okay. Alright, let's let it dry. Our goal for this room was to create a space that had a really creative headboard. Now that we have our dressing screen in here that we've dry brushed, we're going to pull in all the bedding and it's going to totally complete the look. One of the really important things to do when you're hanging a headboard or anything heavy is to find the studs. So we've already done that with the stud finder and now we're ready to hang our headboard. We hung it a little high on the wall so it kind of gave the bed a more grand appearance when it's in the bedroom. Add a bunch of layers. Start with a soft, cozy comforter. One of our favorites is this Lazy Bones Jersey Duvet. Create height and comfort with oversized pillows. What we're trying to do is really just give the bed some different layers and different like fabrics and textures and see where it takes us. Mix in textures and fabrics like faux fur, cable knits, wool, and linen to add some interest. 
We love the way this room looked when it was solid white, but we also love color. So we brought in a surprise punch of these Southwestern inspired prints and it pulled the whole look together. I think it's pretty actually. I like it. So we know that you see all these beautiful beds made in magazines and on TV shows and in like designer coffee table books and you think that's probably this really big challenge that you can't accomplish on your own, but really it's so easy. We found this really great old dressing screen. We gave it a little bit of paint and gave it kind of an updated look. So with a little bit of elbow grease and creativity, y'all can do this too. Be sure and watch for new episodes because you never know what we're going to find next.